Hello guys and welcome to this video on Linux Art. Today we are gonna look at free and privacy focused alternatives to WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Microsoft Teams, Slack and Zoom. So I would say let's start at first with the Messenger apps and let's see what we can do. Yeah, I am actually living in Germany and in Germany I would say above 95% of all people I know are using WhatsApp as their main messenger. Also I heard in many other countries WhatsApp is also the number one and Facebook Messenger is also at a very high rank. What's the problem about WhatsApp and Messenger? They aren't really privacy focused. Okay, yeah, WhatsApp has an end-to-end -end encryption in their chats, but this is only the way between your both smartphones. But in the end, the messages have to be decrypted. And so to say, in the end of both apps, chats could be theoretically read out from a proprietary app, but also WhatsApp can now process much metadata, profile pictures, dates of invoices, and also some other common information of you, for example, your location data. And also they are doing some research over your data and if you're not living in the EU then they can also link that for example with your ads tracking ID. So many causes why you should consider some other alternatives which are also free and maybe are a bit more privacy focused. I would say some of the best alternatives of Messenger and WhatsApp is Signal. Signal is the new WhatsApp so to say because the WhatsApp founders are supporting this project and Signal is much more privacy focused. For example, yeah, you also need a phone number for that but they are hashing it so they can't recalculate your phone number later back again. Also, it's completely open source and you have almost all features and some more features which are more privacy focused. So Signal is a valid replacement for example WhatsApp or Messenger. But also Signal isn't the end of privacy focused apps because it also uses some Google Play services. They can only read some metadata but they can do it and also you need a phone number and aren't as anonymous as you wish. So are there other alternatives which are maybe not the direct replacement for WhatsApp or Messenger but are also really good and are much more privacy focused and I would say the best app for that is Element. Element is based on the Matrix protocol. Matrix is the open source network for decentralized communication. I would say you can't do it better than Matrix. It's a wonderful project. I will do a special video just about Element and Matrix in some weeks, so stay tuned. Also, very popular companies are using it. For example, Fedora or Dataport from Germany. Also, the French Republic, the German army called Bundeswehr. Also, the NATO. <laughs> using it because you can host your own server if you want and do all the communication over your own server with all the cool features with text, speech messages, stickers, emojis, also video or voice calls, group chats, all you need. It is there on your phone, on your desktop PC or any browser and it does its job really really good. One downside of Element is that the registration process and the login process on a new device could be a bit more complicated because of the end-to-end -end encryption because yeah you are handling your end-to-end -end keys yourself so it could be a bit more challenging than for example Signal but I would say Element is the best privacy focused and free really free software you can use for any type of communication. So do we also have something between Element and Signal? And yeah, we have it. It's called Threema. Threema is from Switzerland and is also completely anonymous and is very easy to handle. So it could be the great middle between Signal and Element, but this costs a bit, about five bucks, I would say, and it's more mobile phone focused but it's still a great app. I'm also using this at the current time. Also, we have another app which many, for example, also in Germany, use as an alternative to WhatsApp, which is called Telegram. 
Yeah, Telegram isn't based in the US and does almost allow everything on their Messenger app. But Telegram is not end-to-end -end encrypted. So all messages or almost all messages of Telegram are unencrypted on their servers. So Telegram could be a great alternative to WhatsApp or Messenger, but it isn't really privacy focused but it also has a ton of cool features, also some cool bot options, which makes it really interesting for developers. But also you can do very crazy things with Matrix. We will come to this in a later video. But I would say Telegram is a cool alternative to WhatsApp, but it isn't really privacy focused. So I would even rate it maybe a bit worse than WhatsApp because WhatsApp is at least end-to-end -end encrypted, which makes it a bit more secure than Telegram. So these are all the alternatives. And maybe you are asking the question, but yeah, I can't delete Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp because all my contacts are using it. And I have to say to you, I did exactly this some years ago, about three or four years, and it really worked out. I wrote all my contacts. I'm not anymore available on WhatsApp because I'm deleting it right now. And you can reach me on Signal, Threema, Element or Telegram as an alternative. For me, it was very important to get away from Meta or Facebook because many scandals, for example, the Cambridge Analytica scandal broke my trust to this company and I just wanted not to be dependent from such a big company and also we can see if we have a look to the last years some adjustments in the privacy statements of whatsapp and if you not agree to them you can't use whatsapp anymore so they have a really great power over you and i didn't want to have this so i changed away from whatsapp and i would redo it every time and if you have the fear of missing out something because you are not using whatsapp or facebook messenger anymore for me personally this wasn't the case okay yeah i didn't get any gossip about different things but in the end it led to it that i now meet my people more often in reality and not to stay on the smartphone and especially my messenger apps not longer than i really need to so because of deleting whatsapp i gained more lifetime and the really important stuff i also get over other communication channels so in the end everything turned out really good to me but you don't have to do this for example, just install Signal or Threema on your smartphone and to look which other contacts are using it already and just use this as an alternative. And maybe if we all do this at some point of time, then the great monopole of Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp would be disbanded, which is great news, I would say, for free software and much more our privacy. So this is it to the Messenger. So just have a quick look at the other communication tools, for example, Microsoft Teams, Slack or Zoom. Just a short notice, if you're looking for more Microsoft alternatives, I did a video about this a few weeks ago. I will link it to you in the video description. And yeah, I would say Microsoft Teams, Zoom and Slack are very popular apps for companies to stay in contact. So what alternatives do we have at the free software side, which is also a bit more privacy focused. And for that, we have at the first hand also element, I would say for the chat, it's a great replacement for Slack or Teams. You can also have your own teams and spaces on element, which is very cool. Also, you can host it on your own. You aren't dependent from any company because element is completely free. It's just a big community. And you see, yeah, many companies are using it already. If you need to do some quick video conferences, then Jitsi is your way to go. It isn't suitable for really, really big conferences, but for conferences up to 30 people, I would say it's great. If you want to go over 30 people at the same time in one room, then maybe Big Blue Button would be a great idea. Big Blue Button is very suitable for schools and universities you have a virtual classroom software in it but also some other companies are using it or conferences are using it if they really need to scale up big blue button does this really really good for example some big linux conferences in germany were hosted with big blue button in the corona time there are up to 800 people in one room and everything worked at a glance. Also some other chat alternatives are, for example, Rocket Chat or Metamost. 
But in my opinion, Rocket Chat and MetaMost are only suitable for very small teams if you want to use it free. Because if you're using it as a big company, then you pay a lot just for the license of using it. In my opinion, that doesn't fit into a free software anymore because free software means that you can use it without restrictions and MetaMost and Rocket Chat aren't that for big teams anymore. But for small teams, MetaMost and Rocket Chat are still a good solution. And of course, if you have the money, you can also use them as a big company. But for Rocket Chat, for example, you pay four euros per user per month on a self-managed server structure. So you also have to administrate this Rocket Chat server yourself. But on MetaMost, it is even higher. You pay $10 per user per month, also with self-hosted option. So yeah, this is a lot. I personally can only recommend the self-managed starter or community versions. These are really good, but if you need some more advanced features, then these both costs a lot. And I would say the best alternative to them is Element because it's really free. At the time, the login process is a bit more complicated in terms of end-to-end -end encryption. But if you host your Element and Metric server yourself, then you can also turn off the end-to-end -end encryption if you want. So your users don't have to store any keys anymore. Or if they are losing them, then they can also read their messages if they were unencrypted. But yeah, if it comes to sharing some files, for example, you can do this also with with teams or collaborate on documents together, then I would say Nextcloud is the number one. It's a great tool for file sharing, I would say. Also Nextcloud has some groupware features like Talk, where you can also do some video conferences or chats. But in my opinion, Nextcloud really shines at the file management. The Talk feature, I would say, is not as good as, for example, in Jitsi or Big Blue Button or Element. I would also say um, Nextcloud is a really good cloud for files and maybe calendar and contacts. So yeah, these were all the alternatives for messaging and communication. And also, I want to highlight out in the end some very new technology, which is called email. <laughs> um, in my workflow, emails got a big revival because if I have to organize anything for some organizations, companies, or even with my YouTube channels, then I'm using Thunderbird as a email client all the time because everyone has an email address. It's very easy to reach them and it's quite formal also if you want. So yeah, all my business is going through my email addresses and this also makes it really good to separate between private and business stuff. You can also set up end-to-end -end encryption for Thunderbird and your email addresses. I will show you a video also in the next months about it. So if you didn't already subscribe Linux Ort, then give it a shot. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and write a comment. Which alternatives are you already using? Have I missed out something? Just write it me into the comments and see you in the next week. Bye.